Well, 510 on your Monday morning and wind speeds really calm out there out of the north and the west. McAllen sitting at three miles per hour. Edinburgh, Westlake, Rio Grande City, no wind speeds registering right now. We get closer to the coast and it's a little on the breezier side of things, but even then it's still very calm this morning. Now when you get calm winds and the clear skies, you get temperatures like this. So bundle up this morning if you're headed to work or getting the kiddos ready for school because temperatures are in the low 40s, in the upper 40s, closer to the coast and Rio Grande City. Star County sitting in the upper 30s right now, so definitely a chilly start to your day. Will you need the jacket all day? No. Will you need the space heater all day? No, but they might be out this morning. So just a couple of reminders. Make sure it's three feet away from anything that can burn, including yourself. Place it on a flat surface and make sure it gets turned off before headed to work or to school or you go to sleep. And, you know, all of this is coming from the National Fire Protection Association. And as far as the rest of the day is concerned, like I mentioned, you won't need that jacket all day. Check this out by 1 p.m. in the upper 60s by three in the low 70s. So we'll be in the upper 60s, low 70s today as we top out at around 71 degrees because we have clear skies this morning that turns into a mostly sunny afternoon. Those mostly sunny skies, that's what's going to allow us to heat up. And the dew point stays pretty low though. So today's high temperatures, everyone's in the low 70s as far as today's highs are concerned. 71 is a forecasted high in Westlaco. Mostly to partly sunny skies, winds out of the north at 6 to 12 miles per hour keep our dew points very low but the dew point will start to increase into the later part of your work week high pressure settles in through texas now when this high pressure system starts moving to the east this is when we start to get that southeasterly flow back Cloud cover tries to build in within the next couple of days, but it's to no avail. It tries to build in and then winds start to push it away. Here's the next cold front. Now this front forecasted to come through Friday into Saturday. It brings a rain chance with it, but even then it doesn't bring a huge rain chance. So check out how we increase in humidity and it's not just a subtle increase. I mean, we go from the dry category to the humid category within a day, a day and a half. So it's a huge increase. We're talking overnight lows right back into the mid and upper 60s. And speaking of those overnight lows, let's check them out because today high temperatures in the low 70s, so not too bad. 76 for Tuesday. We are right back into the upper 70s, low 80s by Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and then your overnight lows right back into the upper 50s and then the mid to upper 60s Thursday into Friday until that next cold front comes through again Friday into Saturday. Not a huge blast of cold air, but definitely keeping those dew points at bay. So we'll continue tracking that cold front for you and that's your first one five AccuWeather forecast.